Hello, everyone. Welcome to our talk about formalizing category theory in Agra. To begin with, in general, why do we care about formalizing category theory in proof resistance? Well, one reason is to study category theory itself. Another reason is one might want to study the proof assistant. Some others might want to apply the formalized category theory to the study of other related fields. For these reasons, many have attempted to formalize category theory in various systems, including Agda, Koch, Isabel, Lean, Idris, and many others. In Agda, there was a previous library and most development effort is spent on micro Koch libraries. Here is a summary table of some previous work. As you can see, many libraries, there are many systems involved here, and indeed many libraries are in Koch. In terms of scale in lines of code, many libraries are under 15,000 lines of code while these two libraries, this one in Koch using homotopy type theory, and this one in Isabel, they are close to 100,000 lines of code. So given a previous library existing in EGDA, why on earth do we implement yet another one? One, group, one good reason is the previous library stopped working in EGDA 2.5.2, and what's worse, it used some additional constructs like Strachers axiom K, irrelevance, and even some postulates. So in our library, we want to improve the previous library overall by adapting it to Agda 2.6 plus, limiting ourselves to Martinov type theory, reworking the module layout such that it's more user-friendly, connecting it with the standard library more tightly. We also want to provide more properties instead of just a bunch of definitions. Currently, the library has around 27,000 lines of code. It had around 24,000 lines of code at the time of submission so it has a pretty decent growth rate. There are more than 10 contributors other than us. And compared to the previous library, which has around 12,000 lines of code, we up we more than twice the size. The library has lots of setoid-based category theory. By setoid-based, we mean each category carries its own notion of equivalence relation. We'll, we discuss it in the paper and the long version of this presentation. The library has most of basic definitions you would expect from a category theory library and many lemmas and theorems. It also has a decent amount of enriched and higher category theory. Just to name a few things we have in the library, we have the following concepts like category, functor, natural transformations, adjoint functors, various monoidal categories, Cartesian closed categories, comma category, initial and terminal objects, products and coproducts, ends and co-ends, etc. We also have many constructions, including the category of categories, the category of setoids, the category of precis the category of monoidal categories, et cetera. We also proved a lot of properties. The classical ones include the Unida lemma, adjoint functor theorem, Lambex lemma, right adjoint preserved limits, local Cartesian closure and Cartesian closure of the category of setoids, and many others. And this list is not exhaustive. In order to help us to design a general library, we employ the, fo the following basic principles. We use setoids to model home setoids because this would allow us to follow standard, the standard library as 
tightly as possible and is compatible with K turned on, which is what this option for, and cubicle actor, which is what this option for. We also employed universe polymorphism because it allows concept reuse across different universe levels. We enforce definition, definitional duality. Duality is a principle that is frequently used in category theory. It allows us to prove only one theorem but get another one for free. So we would like to we would like to adapt this idea to, to, to all concepts in our library. So as a result, some definitions need adjustments, including we need to add some laws in the definition of certain concepts, including category, monad, and natural transformations. We also provide proofs of definitional duality in our library. You can find more details about this in our long presentation and the paper. Another principle is that we use records for encapsulation. This principle has some interplay with the feature of record modules. And this would allow us to shrink the size of the code quite drastically while even improving the readability of our library. Again, we dis will discuss it in greater detail in the long version of the presentation and the paper. Sure, the library is not about just engineering EGDA in particular. We also discover some aspects that is about category theory and we want to define our version of category theory in a more type theoretic way. We, one observation is that we notice category theory on paper is primarily set theoretic because for example, we use languages like small, locally small, finite, uh, stuff like that. And these languages, they are very set theoretic. And if we want to encode it in type theory directly, we will essentially it will essentially lead to a philosophical commitment of assuming types are sets. So, so that's not some, some philosophical commitment we would like to make. In order to achieve a better, uh, more type, theoret type theory friendly version of category theory, we, uh, we first, we would like to pick some more type theoretic definitions. We also realize that so there are cases where we need to talk about natural isomorphisms between the home sets. And this is a very set theoretic language. In order to not do that, we discover a pattern to transform a, a certain kind of natural isomorphisms between home sets into adjunctions and mates. Another kind of set theoretic language we might use is uh, quanti set theoretic quantifications like finite categories. We transform this language into, into one that uses adjoint equivalence. Please see the long version and our paper for more details. Our library is freely available at this URL. If you want to contribute, please feel free to submit a PR. You can definitely use our library to study category theory and other related fields. We realize that there's much design space to be explored in formalized category theory. And of course, in this short talk, we cannot possibly ex exhaust every single aspect of our paper. So please feel free to check the long presentation and the paper for more details. <laughs>